Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only and for those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics and law. And through this channel, I'm going to be providing some stock analysis as well, and also a short trading lesson at the end, so please stay tuned. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you three stocks to choose for your watch list on Monday. And the first stock I'm going to talk about today is tick symbol FCEL, Fuel Cell Energy. This stock was just up in excess of 5% um, on close of play on Friday at $8.91 and also on the week. As you can see on the screen there, it was up in excess of 14.9%. Uh, okay, so let's start by having a look at the six months chart. So if you, if you can see on the screen, we have the six months chart there. Uh, before we look at the chart, let's have a quick reminder of the profile of the company details. We can see here that fuel cell energy uh, delivers fuel cell power solutions. It's engaged in designing, manufacturing, installing and operating and maintaining fuel cell power solutions. Uh, the co company also provides uh, turnkey power generation solutions to customers, including plant installation, operations and maintenance. OK, so it's certainly a company that is forward looking. It's uh, clean energy. It's also a company that has a, a tremendous future. However, if we look at the chart here, we can see uh, the date there, 9th of Feb February 2021 highlighted. This indicates the all time high price for this year of fuel cell, which was twenty nine. Uh, $27.96 uh, on the chart. However, we can see the 52 week high is $29.44. So the current trading price of $8.91 is quite considerably lower than that. And one of the reasons for that is with the market being, all, all markets being hit in terms of clean energy, EV, and many of the penny stocks since February have come down well in excess of 50%. So a similar situation with fuel cells. So we can see here, uh, right now, it uh, seems to be a little bit of momentum in terms of the, the bottom. Uh, so we can see the one week recovery is just in excess of 14%. Um, and right now at $8.91, I think this would be a good, entry, uh, good uh, time to consider an entry for this stock. So in terms of a strike price going forward from Monday onwards, if, uh, if there is a little bit of a pullback since we have had uh, an increase of 14% in the previous week, I think if you can catch this, below $8.70, that would be a good uh, entry price for this. So in terms of long-term potential, fuel cell energy, I do see this uh, achieving the all-time high again, certainly within the next 18 months. So um, the all-time high we can see there, $29.44. Within the next 18 months to two years, I certainly see a um, good pullback on this stock for long-term. Okay, so the second stock I'd like to bring to your attention for your watch list on Monday is tick symbol MARA, Marathon Digital Holdings. So we can see here, uh, in terms of the close of play on Friday, this was just down in excess of 4% at $20.89. And we can also this was see that this was down just over 9% on the week. Um, however, uh, over the month, it is down just in excess of 40%, but over the year, it's still up in it, well in excess of 446%. So let's have a look at now the, the chart for this. Okay, so if we look at the six months chart here for Marathon Digital Holdings, we can see that this is a crypto uh, mining play. Uh, this one at the moment we can see it has been affected by the negative news regarding crypto, Bitcoin and Marathon Digital Holdings. This stock does follow generally the price momentum for Bitcoin. And at the moment, we know that Bitcoin is going through a little bit of a nosedive. However, from a buying point of view, this does represent a good opportunity to put this on your watch list and consider an entry for this. We can see in terms of an all time high over the previous 52 weeks, this was at one point fifty seven dollars and seventy five. Can see there from the chart right now at twenty dollars and eighty nine. It uh, has come down quite significantly from this. I do expect um, a recovery long term for Bitcoin. Bitcoin has always come down and it has always recovered. So at the moment, it is going through a little bit of a difficult time in terms of a strike price for Marathon Digital Holdings. I th certainly think there could be a little bit more uh, momentum downwards. Difficult to say. However, if you can catch this anywhere close to $19, I certainly think that would be a good entry point. However, with this kind of play, I always cash out fully whenever I invest in uh, Marathon Digital Holdings. 
uh, certainly once profits uh, uh, kind of uh, achieve a 20% plus. So if we can catch this below $19, around about $19 and consider an exit maybe over $26. Okay, so the final stock I'd like to bring for your watch list on Monday is tick symbol BCRX, Biocrystal Pharmaceuticals. So this stock, as we can see on closer play on Friday, was just down below 1% at $13.86. And if we look at the chart here, we can see uh, on, the, on the week it was up 8%. On the month, it's up in excess of 18%. And this is the important thing here that I'd like to draw your attention to over the previous three months. This is one of the few stocks uh, certainly that has not gone down. It has actually gone up. So uh, over the past previous three months, this stock has gone up in excess of 20%. So if we have a look at the, the six months chart there, we can see on the February the 1st, this was trading around about $11.85. And from that approximate period many of the clean energy stocks the penny stocks and the ev stocks did have um, significant movement down however that was not the case with bcrx and we can see the general momentum has been positive and from that eleven dollars and eighty five right now close of play on friday this has uh, has gone up uh, probably about about twenty percent from that period at, at thirteen dollars and eighty six Okay, so what I'd like to now do is just delve a little bit deeper into this particular stock and look at the reasons why this stock has not followed the general market for other similar stocks and why that, why has this been a stock that has been a bit more positive. So let's have a look at an article here dated May the 21st, 2021 uh, from The Motley Fool and with the headline here is Biochrist a good stock to buy now? Okay, so if we just delve into this article, we can see that uh, it is trading on the NASDAQ. So uh, it's climbed in excess of 180% since the company's first rare disease drug and FDA approval in December. So that was, that was the positive catalyst for this stock in terms of the FDA approval. Uh, in terms of another potential blockbuster rolling through the company's pipeline, it has the potential to be an even bigger winner. So despite strong gains over the previous six months, the market cap is still lower than the market caps of many clinical stage biotech companies. So what that tells us as investors is that there is still significant potential in this stock. Okay, so let's look at the headline here in terms of why is the Biochrist stock, uh, why Biochrist stock is soaring. So in December, obviously, we've just seen that the FDA approved the one daily capsule to prevent uh, swelling episodes caused by a rare immune system disorder called hereditary angiomedema. HAE patients with this uh, diagnosis randomly have um, uh, swelling episodes that are usually limited to the limbs and face but sometimes can cause severe pain when they occur in the intestines and on occasion swelling episodes that can strict patients airways can be fatal so it's a very very important treatment for that uh, in terms of uh, the stock we can see that uh, third third fourth paragraph down at the bottom uh, they began uh, trials of the, a new drug uh, for this treatment uh, in, and in March the results from an early stage study showed that significantly increased levels of haemoglobin for PNH patients suggested it become the first oral treatment for PNH so very good news there in terms of prognosis for the future and it also could be a blockbuster for this particular stock going forward. Uh, in terms of AstraZeneca, we can see at the very bottom, they have acquired Alexion early this year. And obviously we all know that uh, AstraZeneca are a huge multinational billion, multi-billion dollar company. So if uh, this stock can get some uh, entry into a similar market for this particular drug, uh, then the potential is huge. Okay, so the final thing I'd like to share with you now is the headline here, Time to Buy. I'm just going to focus on the last paragraph here. So BioCrisp finished the last quarter with $227 million in cash and equivalent on the books. So that's good. Uh, previously, they did lose $64 million during that pre period. So obviously, the momentum going forward is a little bit more positive. And the last thing that I'd like to share, just share with you is the last sentence there. So the shares are probably worth the risk at the moment, however, but only as part of a well-diversified portfolio. So let's now consider a strike price. 
Okay, so just to finish off in terms of possible strike price for this uh, from Monday onwards, uh, uh, close of play on Friday, we saw that this was trading at just in excess of $13.87. So if you can catch this play anywhere close to $12.50, with if there is a pullback, that would be certainly be a good entry point. But again, this uh, investing in this should be part of a, a diversified uh, portfolio. So please consider an entry of around $12.50. And uh, I would also recommend taking profits or exiting this play once it reaches in excess of $16 or close to $16. Okay, so it's now time for lesson of the day. And today we're going to continue with our series on chart analysis. And so today's chart is the bearish symmetrical triangle. So before we look at the chart itself, let's have a look at the details of this. So it's an easy pattern to, pattern to spot. It has a distinctive shape, which is developed by two trend lines, which converge together. And you'll be able to see those two trend lines with the two gray arrows converging together on the right hand side, forming the shape similar to a triangle. So the pattern is created by downward trend lines, uh, which connect a series of peaks and troughs. The trend lines create a barrier and once the price breaks through these, it's usually followed by a very sharp movement in price. So the, the key thing to bear in mind is this is a bearish signal. Uh, it's not um, a bullish signal. So once we have this uh, pattern, we can see on the left hand side, the green uh, line represents the share price. And as it comes down, you see uh, there is recovery. Uh, so that could be misleading in terms of uh, making an investment and thinking that uh, the, the recovery is going to continue. However, the, we, we see the two gray lines forming uh, the triangle and that indicates breakout. However, the breakout is now downwards so that's a, a, a risky uh, signal there so uh, the red circle there that would be a good time to sell and cash out from this stock depending what company it is and depending on how risky the company is but certainly that's a bearish signal so once you see uh, this triangle shape it would be a good it would be a good point to e exit this play hope that helps thank you very much for joining me and please stay tuned